Pro, <laughs> Poprox, if you, uh, if you are having any trouble hearing the game right now, do let me know, and that can go away. Remind me later. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh, that was our antivirus. <laughs> and now it has popped up on the stream. <laughs> yep, I'm Midori, all right. <laughs> there she is, Aether High. Home of the Heartbreakers. Is that a gang? <laughs> or is that just everyone there is a heartbreaker? How dare they? <laughs> just look at her, Midori. Have you ever seen something so beautiful? Solid as rock, she is. All done up in her purple and gold. She's a beauty, ain't she? Yes, purple and gold, just like Mardi Gras. That, that, that's beauty right there, just like back in Louisiana. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, you guessed right. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> now let's move on. We're almost late. We'll never hear the end of it from Prince of Aloxodont. <laughs> Homeroom is as lively as ever. Rano is practicing his spin kicks in the corner. Forceburn is scribbling fiercely in his notebook. But there's something special in the air, too. Something like... Love! <laughs> When did Patrick Starr get here? <laughs> you shut, shut, really, really. shut up! <laughs> Good morning, Mabel, class president with a fucking sash with the badges. <laughs> As I was saying, it has come to my attention that some of my more ardent supporters believe that I should be class president for life. I appreciate your faith in me. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Let's see. There's Forsburn. There's Silvanos. There's, uh, or Kane. The, the Orca Cat. Rano. Crag. Abza. Maypole. Hey, it's Raster! This is my voice now. <laughs> I like goats. Unlike you, I actually have a plan for my future. We all have plans until we get out of high school and realize what life is. Okay, well let's talk to Maypole then. <laughs> oh, it's terrible, Midori! You know our hated rivals, the Jingle Boys of Newtbury Meadow? What? What? <laughs> Second only to the mighty fighty shush bugs. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't ah! No! My neck! I'm gonna die! <laughs> Something to the effect of I saw what you did and now you and everyone else will pay. What does May read? Like, is that like... Is that... Is that their version of Twitter, but she made it? I don't know. <laughs> what? In rainbow lettering. Okay, sounds good. Ding! That's the sound of my teeth jing head dinging. <laughs> Can I literally talk to everybody? <laughs> Like, are we going to talk to everybody before we move on? Or is there, like, a set amount that I can talk to? You know what? Let's talk to Raster. Yeah! What's up, Raster? What's Fresh Snickerdoodle? <laughs> you got a bottle of gumdrop pudding on you or what? <laughs> what? Do you know anything about talking to your crush? Da -da -da. <laughs> Crush? I don't really get crushes. Chicks, on the other hand, holy rigatoni! <laughs> Can I 
hold my Oni against the little chicky bird and her wild and tricky chicky tricks. Ah, what is this? What is this? Okay, just spill it. Who are you asking? I mean, I've got someone in mind. I do. His flaming mane flickers especially brightly for a moment because Zetterburn is my best friend. It is her, isn't it? Claren, right? Yeah, she is kind of cute. Oh my fucking god. Ah, don't smack me in the face with a sandwich. Oh my god, she's so cute. I love the breed. I am so happy to be a fan of Rivals of Aether, and I am so happy to have the opportunity to take Claren to Homecoming. Um, hi Claren. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. You're Zetterburn's brother, right? Sideburn? F Forsburn. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something really important. Sure, what's up? I, uh, mumble mumble. So I was thinking maybe, mumble mumble, um, go to the dance with me? Uh, oof, save Claren. Watch this train wreck from a distance. No, 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 I'm gonna save Claren because I wanna go to prom with her. Hey Claren, do you know what page the math homework is on? Uh, oh yeah, the math homework, yeah, of course. Uh, hey, I'll talk to you later, Heartburn. F Forest burn. Forsburn trudges off dejectedly, muttering something under his breath. Wow, uh, so you saw that, huh? Yeah, kind of awkward. Sorry. I'm not sure I've ever even spoken to him before. Don't get me wrong, there's something kind of alluring about the whole brooding poet thing, but still. Uh-oh, competition? Oh crap, the bell's about to ring. See you later, Midori. We'll laugh about this later. The PA system suddenly cuts in, ushering us to our next destination. <laughs> Proceed to first period immediately! I am an elephant! Raster breathes a long, dramatic sigh. Man, I'm wiped! I got none left in the tank! Let me guess, you just flew in, and boy are your arms tired. <laughs> That's a great joke. That's a great joke, Zetterburn. <laughs> For your information, Fire Breath, I was out last night with a little ladybird. You sure it wasn't a ladybug? <laughs> <laughs> wow, a slam dunk. Priceless. Hey, you should have seen me, Papa. I was doing some diggity dance moves. That would have made you cry. I don't doubt that. <laughs> mean. All right, class. Shut your mouths. Today is your first test of the school year on Aetherian history. We're not having a test until the same day as homecoming? These are all basic questions about the world around you. You should have no trouble answering them. Watertown is the blank capital of Aether. The beautiful capital. The lobster capital. The steel capital. The merchant capital. What is the name of the military arm of the Air Nation? Flying Aces, the Bird Boys, Air Armada, and the Swoop Squadron. I'm pretty sure it's the Air Armada. Why was the rock wall built? I saw this in the, uh, the trailer and it made me laugh. To keep out dirty sand animals. <laughs> What people live in the Ice Barrens? The Ice Climbers! And Eggplants. It's the Ice King! <laughs> Princess! 
what event caused the air armada to form? Mass air shortage. They took all our air! <laughs> Birds kept stealing people. <laughs> the Aetherian Forest Fire. The founding of the Water Trading Company. Meh. Raster we know. Oh, okay. So it was this uh, forest fire. <laughs> Enough, Donnelly! <laughs> We're taking a test! <laughs> Idle minds are the devil's discotheku. <laughs> Disco. What? Discotech. Discotech. So get your books and get moving. What? That's all I have to choose from? You know what? I really like Maple. But I want to do the voice more. <laughs> hey, Eliana! Catch! What? With a clumsy punt, Silvanos careens his hemp hay sack. Ooh, 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 I hit the mic. <laughs> careens his hemp hay sack halfway across the classroom in a chaotic arc. Much to the much to Silvanos' dismay, the ball lands in Orcane's blowhole. Doesn't he have a hat over that? <laughs> Idiot. Halfway impressed with his hole in one, Silvanos gives a goofy grin and shrugs as Orcane blows the hay sack back. Or at least tries to. The ball lands on Forceburn's desk, who is scribbling furiously over a notebook. M my poem! Hey! Which one of you did that? Uh, Orkane. It was definitely Orkane. You again, huh? I'm gonna pound the living daylights out of... Raster, cool as a cucumber, steps between the two, raises his feathered arms in a gesture of peace. What's your bag, Daddy-o? No need to get unglued. Let's save the theatrics for after the dance. Wouldn't want to show up with a fresh pair of shiners, huh? Disaster averted. Forceburn sighs, slumps back into his chair, and gives Orkane the stink eye before getting back to his writing. I love how Forceburn is a fucking, like, emo goth. Poet. <laughs> it looks like we've got a little time before Mr. Kai shows up. Maybe I can chat with some people to pass the time. How long is this? <laughs> I, thought... I think it might just be an actual, like, an actual game with actual multiple endings. I, well, considering how many achievements there are for this thing. Yes, there's like an achievement for taking every single person to prom. <laughs> Anyways. Hmm. Well, I don't want to discourage her. And I don't want to just be like, oh, You like technology? I like technology too! We got so much in common! So, let me see if I can help her. Actually... Claren pauses for a moment to ponder her response. <laughs> yeah, you're cool. I think I can tell you. God damn, God damn, God damn it! Damn it! But I was getting in with the pussy cat. <laughs> if you see anyone acting suspiciously, report them to me immediately. Resume learning. <laughs> Crap! This never happened. Okay, I'll explain it all later. See ya. Oh, but Claren, I want to help you take down the evil cyborg elephant of the future. Oh. Please don't tell anyone, but I accidentally ate my homework. Can I look at yours? <laughs> I mean, she is a goat. Uh-oh. Homework. You ate your homework? It 
just looks so delicious. The delicate curves of my cursive, the sensitive but firm loops, the off-white college-ruled paper. I couldn't control myself, Midori. Well, I guess you are a gold. So, um, would you mind if I just looked at yours real quick? I'll be two seconds, I promise. I think I left it in my locker. Are you sure we can get away with cheating? I ate mine too. I mean, this is the only one that isn't, like, dismissing to her. So... Uh, that's a good point. Mr. Kai will know if our papers are too similar. Good thinking, Midori. Well, I guess I'm gonna try to hammer something out real fast. Thanks for listening. Let's see, there's only one other girl in class. I, I mean... Snakes are kinda hot. I'm a snake. If I get a bad tattoo, I just shed it off. That makes too much sense. Excuse me, pupils! I'm sorry for the delay. I'm sure we're all itching to get to our English presentations. English presentations! Dun dun dun! So we'll begin without delay. Or Kane, would you like to start us out? Sorry, Mr. Kai. I'll have to go tomorrow. My human ate my homework. <laughs> Our damn pet humans. This story, like all stories, begins with a beginning. And like all beginnings, this beginning begins with... Hungry goats eating everything they see. <laughs> Two cities, I think. A strong spin dashing the the strong spin dashing the weak. You know what? Hungry goats eating everything they see. <laughs> Is Absa gonna get mad at me? Is she gonna get mad at me? I feel like Absa is gonna get mad at me. After a grueling journey, our heroes have to contend with... <laughs> Crag Fair. Just Crag Fair. Anime. <laughs> Overall, the moral of the story is... Bad tattoos last your whole life, unless you're a snake. Don't rat out your friends to the man, Claren. The real treasure is the treasure we find along the way. Don't rat out your friends to the man! That was... Mr. Kai pauses for a moment to ruminate. I can feel a bead of sweat start to trickle down my forehead. You could cut the tension in the air with a knife. The most creative interpretation of Animal Farm I've ever heard, Midori! Well done! You get an A plus for your presentation! Fuck yeah! Animal Farm! Wait, what? <gasps> Clarin, baby! Who else can I be? Clarin, baby! What's up, baby? Clarin sneakily looks down either end of the hallway before slinking into an empty room. Being the creepy voyeur that I am, I decide to follow her. Hey, 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 hey. Game. Nobody needs to know that I'm a creepy voyeur. I don't need to know that. Stop it. Get some help. Well, hey, it was good talking to you, Midori. I've got to run, but maybe we can talk after class. Yes, 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 yes. She's definitely up to something. But what? The PA system suddenly cuts in, ushering us to our next destination. <laughs> Proceed to third period immediately. Brr. I'm not sure how much more excitement I can take. You're never going to believe who asked Zetterburn to the dance. Was it you, Absa? Oh. Just... Oh. I mean, Ayala, really? Like, did she really think she had a shot with... And let's be totally honest here, the guy who's probably gonna be picked for Homecoming King? Who's that Yala again? 
I don't know. Well, you should hear what's going around about Midori. You should hear what's going around about Midori. You and your watchman pin. Okay. Today isn't the day. Don't speak to me. Don't look at me. Just play the darn computer game. Boy, I wish that we could play computer games for actual lessons. We did! We did! But that was usually in elementary school and maybe a little bit in middle school. Like Mario teaches typing. And form your own damn groups. Oh, he said darn. Form your own darn groups. I don't care who you partner with. Not today. Teams, huh? Maybe this is my shot to chat up my crush. No, it's not. My crush isn't here. Wait, what is it? Whoa. Time really flies, huh? While I'm at it. I don't have time, Raster! Top of the hop! Fully matured bird! Ah! Is he just gonna rattle on and on while I'm doing this? Ah! He's just going on and on. I'm gonna have to watch. I'm gonna have to watch this later for all his dialogue because there's like, like he just keeps going. What the hell? He's talking a mile a minute here. I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Computers were never my strong suit, and I feel like I've demonstrated that more than adequately today. What was that? Like, I'm trying... What was that? Ah! I I I kind of want to back up a bit like Can I can I do that? Hey, I can. Okay, so, um, I don't know how this works, but I'm just going to partner up with her, and I'm just going to play the game, like, to the best of my abilities. the first time Bradshaw okay Bradshaw I'm sure your parents won't be happy to hear about this at all I feel like no matter how good I did in that it was going to end badly oh well at least it had nothing to do with uh Like, uh, with, with Claren or anything. Well, I guess that's the end of that. Oh, Claren isn't here. Uh, I'll talk to Eliana again. Oof. Zetterburn breaks my trance with an overly enthusiastic pat on the back and sits down on the other side of my table, straddling his seat with the swagger of a spaceship commander. What even is that? 
<laughs> the swagger of a spaceship commander. I want the swagger of a spaceship commander. Richie. Richie. What? Which one is rule 34? Rule 34 is if it exists, there's porn of it. Yeah, there, there, there's a lot of Rule 34 of Maple, probably, and not nearly enough of Claren. Can you believe that? This is it. It's time to do it. It's time to finally ask someone to the dance. But who's going? who's it going to be? It's going to be Claren. Ask her to dance. Ha-ha! <laughs> I knew it. I flippin' knew it. Seriously. I ship you two. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Do kids actually say that in high school nowadays? Like, do they act do enough of the masses understand what shipping means enough to actually use it as everyday slang in high school now? Oh, hey Midori. What's up? I take a deep breath and force down the lump in my throat with all the willpower I've got. Hey Claren. I was kind of wondering if, if you want to go to the dance with me. What? What happened to all those smooth lines I rehearsed? The full confidence I practiced in the mirror. I didn't even drop a sick nag on her. I blew it. What the fuck? <laughs> nag? What is this, Neopets? What, what the fuck is a nag? That sounds cool. Wait, did she just say yes? But... There's something I gotta tell you first. Clarence sighs, fidgets with her bag nervously, and leans in close to me, whispering, This is gonna sound crazy, but bear with me, and don't let this get out. I'm trusting you with this because you're cool, and kinda cute, okay? My girl! So, I'm actually from the future. Did she just call me Q? <laughs> That's what I focus on. A grim, dystopian future where Principal Luxodon, <laughs> Luxodon, he's actually Emperor Luxodon now, has taken over the Fire Empire and rules with an iron techno fist. I was sent to the past to destroy him before he gets too powerful. So, um, do you think you can help me? The school's PA system begins to crackle, and the screech of microphone feedback pierces my ears. <laughs> is this thing on? Ahem! This is your esteemed and benevolent overlook, uh, Principal Luxido, vigorously reminding all students that there will be no seditious conspiring on school grounds. <coughs> all students found scheming will be given weekend detention and miss the homecoming dance. That is all. Crap, that's our cue. Hey, come with me. In one cool, quick motion, Claren flings her backpack over her shoulder and grabs my hand. Oh, that backpack fling. Mm. It's so... sexy. This way! Hands clasped together, we bolt through the classroom door and down the hallway. Wherever it is she's leading me, I get the feeling it's going to be exciting. <laughs> you know, this is pretty easy to win if you just, like, talk to the people that you want to take to the dance and everything. I feel like these are inserts, considering the way that she's, like, looking over her shoulder and stuff. I feel like all of these guys in the background are inserts. Except for the plant. I recognize you. <laughs> so, is that it? Is that the end? That's it! <laughs> so yeah, it's literally just a goofy... Um, it's just a, a really goofy um, April Fool's dating sim game that they made. And they weirdly put a lot of effort into the designs of like all the characters and the uh the classrooms and whatnot i really find the designs of the characters incredibly cute i love it so much 
And this is a great April Fool's thing. I hope that this is still available after April Fool's Day. And I just love it. I hope that this brings...